And so check labels on the baby food you might have in your cabinet. The FDA issued an advisory for food pouches they say may contain elevated levels of lead. That's right. They're sold at Sam's Club, Amazon, and Dollar Tree. WBTV's Claire Kopsky is digging deeper for answers as to just how dangerous lead can be. She joins us now live at a Dollar Tree in West Charlotte. Claire? Well, Siobhan and Molly, although these Wanabana apple cinnamon fruit puree pouches were recalled over the weekend, we still found them on the shelf at this Dollar Tree here in West Charlotte today. The concern is that they might contain lead. At ages one and two, a child receives a blood test at their pediatrician. For some kids in Western North Carolina, that test recently revealed a parent's nightmare. That data comes back to us and we use that to uh, look at those that might have elevated lead levels and then again uh, conduct those investigations of the home to really help the family identify other sources that might be resulting in those ele elevated lead levels. Dr. Candace Scarberry with the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services says that's exactly how they learned of the possible lead in these Wanabana fruit puree pouches. If a child is above three and a half micrograms per deciliter, that's a particular cutoff. Because every child is different, there's no way to know how many pouches they would have to eat to show symptoms. The concern with lead is the long term effects. In the long term, it has been shown to uh, impede development, particularly cognitive development as well. And so it's really important that we uh, track and, and assess that, especially in our younger children who have higher risk. But spotting it can be difficult, as immediate symptoms are headaches, abdominal pain, and vomiting, which are fairly common symptoms for many viruses as well. So, and that's why routine visits with your pediatrician, keeping on top of those well-child visits, where some of this testing does happen is important as well. It's testing that other families did that led to a recall of this apple cinnamon Wanabana fruit pouch. Your family uh, has this product in their home. Do not feed it to your children. Dispose of it and talk to your provider about further lead testing for your child. To keep up with the latest recalls on items like these Wanabana fruit pouches, you can sign up for the FDA's alerts. They give you product withdrawals and other updates, security, safety updates for different items that might be getting recalled. If you want to keep up with those updates, you can sign up for them on the FDA's web website. Molly and Siobhan, this is something that every parent should know about. We'll send Absolutely. it back to you. Absolutely. Incredibly important information.